Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are going to take some land from England. That's assuming we can actually get all these sieges done. I'm hoping we can. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is a very nice event. Gain stability or gain a bunch of tradition. At this point, I think I want these, the tradition because it's so hard to come by. Our tradition is just crap. So, yeah, I'll take that. We're actually pretty close to teching up. Very cool. Yeah. A few months and we'll be able to tech up both military and admin. Your war exhaustion is high. I know. Thanks for reminding me, game. Boy, do I know. Doing the best I can, damn it. Um, I'm actually going to get some more mercs. Because I don't need a siege with my army, so I'll siege with the mercs. London's walls are busted. Very good. And let us go seize this colony. Since we have a free colonist. Gain prestige or gain prestige and money? I'll take the prestige and money. Thank you. That will support my army for a small few months. But much appreciated few months. Seize the colony. Thank you. Send the colonist. And we'll just stand there. <laughs> Thanks, England. Free colony. Dirt. Okay, you guys are ready. Let's pick you up. Man, let me tell you, that was that was some severe luck getting a mountain defense in the highlands. It's mostly hills, so there was still a good chance of getting um, hills defense, but mountain defense, wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Without that, I don't know if we ever would have had a chance. Maybe. Maybe with the hills defense, maybe, but I doubt it. That 3-5 general of his, my god. At least, at least it's not the 3-6 king as last war. Yeah, this time, that 3-6 that king is dead, so they're on to Mary York now. Oof. Still, 3-5 is brutal. I mean, our general is only a 2-2, two -two, you know? The difference in quality of generals is immense. Oh, it'd be cool if you could buy a general from someone. Like, oh, let's say Muscovy has, you know, 80 army tradition, and they just constantly pump out generals with, you know, 5 fire and 4 shock. I would buy those. Why not? Go away with your white piece bullshit. Yeah, France didn't land any troops. You're saying we shouldn't help them because they didn't land troops? I don't know. They did, they did invade Greenland and Nova Scotia, so there is that. But, you know, I'm... A little upset that they didn't even really land any troops up here because they have 15 transports and they helped me blockade but yeah they didn't actually land any troops with them it's kind of sad lose money and lose war exhaustion yes thank you we still have high war exhaustion but that helps a lot okay max relations with poland let's go work on let's see who are your allies oh you lost your ally with lithuania i don't want to want to work with lithuania because they are kind of at odds. Oh my god. Look at what Sweden did to Norway. Ha! <laughs> so they lost, they lost what, three provinces or four provinces to rebels? And then they came back and took everything back and more. And more. Oh man. Muscovy. Their name just keeps moving for, further to the right. <laughs> further east. Oh my god, look at the Ottomans. Holy shit. Wow. I'm going to go improve relations with them. Hmm. <laughs> Let's not get on the odds of them. And their tech is good, too. They're in the Ottoman tech group, which is almost western, but not quite. London's about to fall. That's awesome. Northumberland, good. Uh, let's go for Lothian. Salt in Karankawa, okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is awesome. That, that, it didn't take as long as the first war did, but still. When did this start? Okay, maybe it did take as long. Wow, it's been 15 years already. 15 years and we're still at war. We're no longer ahead. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and bump that. Keep on the cutting edge of all this tech. We're almost ready for new military tech as well. There goes the war target. And look at that. All of a sudden, we're winning by 22 because we got the war target. Now, now it's going to start ticking in our favor up another 25 points. But considering we have such high war exhaustion, we may not want to wait that long. Um, yeah, go resiege stuff. Actually, no, he's coming to fight, then let's get out of the way. Oh god, 28th of February. Oh god, my army's trapped. Wait, oh, he's going to Lothian, my bad. Can I get out of there? No. No, we're trapped. Uh, well, we can run away. At the very least, we can run away. Are there any more base 3 tacks? Or base 3 forts? No, they're all base 2. Alright. Um, yeah, just try to run. Um, Ow, we lost 2,000 dudes doing that. Just merge them. <laughs> that was brutal. Stupid Scottish nationalists. I guess I can just accept their demands, right? Uh, lose prestige, they get local autonomy for a short time. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here, stupid rebels. <sighs> rebels. Twenty-five percent war score, and that's going to keep ticking up in our favor. England will cede meat and pay 80 ducats. Now we can do better than that. In fact, what would you give me at 25? Oh, just me. Oh, wow. 78! Oh, wow. He would be willing to give me way more than our war score right now. So we need to siege out some of this stuff. Like now. Yeah, that war exhaustion is brutal. I agree. Oh, we did have a claim on marches. My bad. We'll do everything we have claims on, and then we'll see what he'll give us, because I just want to get out of this war. This is so bad. The capital has fallen, so we're at 37% war score now. Beautiful. Speed five. Um, yeah. Why not? What could go wrong? All right, military tech. Sounds good to me. And we can also upgrade our infantry, but let's wait until the war is over. Gloucestershire has fallen. Move on. Cornwall, 47% war score. Just waiting for Marches and Oxfordshire to finish, and then we'll talk peace. Oh, our king died. Our ancient king died. Man, he was old. And our current king is 70. Who the hell wants to take over at 70? I don't know, but we have an... Oh my god, our air is so good. 4-2-4. Four, four. Ooh, we have a good air. We have a real good air. 
We have a real good air. Wow. Cumbria, okay. Four two four air, very nice. Rebels, yeah, gotta deal with that. They're actually English rebels, not ours. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's everything that we have claims on. Let's see what kind of peace deal they're willing to give. Uh, these are our claims. Oh, he won't do all of that. That's 114. Damn it. But he will do up to 92. I think that's a good deal for us. That'll work, and I'll keep Oxfordshire, and I'll sell my vassal all the rest of this crap. And some money? Hmm, he won't give me any money. Can I make you get rid of a core? No. Alright, looks good to me, England. And we're finally going to have Meath, where... Actually, you know what? What if I skip Meath and I go Cornwall instead? Oh, he won't. Really? The reason I want to do that is because we're always going to have a claim on Meath, and then his rebels are his rebels. I don't have to kill him. Yeah, I'm going to wait out for one more percent war score, which should be relatively quick if the wall's busted. One percent more war score, and then we can um, get Cornwall instead of Meath. I know you guys want to see Ireland. I do too. But I think it makes more sense to take stuff from him over here, because he's never going to be able to defend Meath. Okay, now he'll do it. Just by moving more units around, he'll do it. Excellent. There we go. There's our peace deal. Burgundy has entered a coalition against us. We might want to get them out of that. Ooh, beautiful. Tyrone! And we're going to keep Oxford, for sure. Because that'll let us get claims on Essex, Wessex, not Kent though. What do I want to leave England with? I might leave them with Cumbria, because it's a base 2 tax. If I leave them with Cumbria, yeah, I'll take everything else but Cumbria. I'll even take London. Wow, base 15. <whistles> Brutal. Anyway, now we have to sell stuff to our vassal. Okay, everyone, let's go home to... I don't know. Let's meet up in Oxfordshire. Sounds fun. Oh, England, you are you are literally but a shell of your former self. Okay, we can sell all those mercs. We can get rid of all this war exhaustion and all of our overextension. Oof. We can finally boost our stability. There we go. Oh. Brutal. Brutal. Coalition. Yeah, let me get people out of the coalition. Kind of important. Netherlands. Yeah. Relax, everybody. It's okay. Mercs. Goodbye. Mercs, goodbye. Mercs, goodbye. Not Mercs, okay. Do we have any Mercs left? I don't think so. I think these are all non-Mercs. Oh, let's get all of our ship, shippy ships. Everyone just go meet up in Leinster, and then we'll figure out what, what to do from there. And England gets to keep their crappy 10,000 peasant rebels, so I don't have to deal with that shit.
that was everything that we claimed. So that's perfect. That was 93 war score for those. So adding up all the um, base tax was a good idea of how much war score it would eventually cost us. 5, 12, 18, 23. So we can probably take up to about 25. Maybe a tiny bit more, but maybe about, let's say about 25 is our limit for uh, war score demands. Or um, base tax demands in the war, in the peace deal. Alright, let's get our new units. Marushan infantry, very nice. Ships are still coming in. Bring the transports to Gloucestershire. We'll probably need them somewhere. Yeah, England and the coalition. We gotta get everyone on this stupid coalition. Back to making half a ducat a day. Or half a ducat a month. Very nice. Let's see. Disputed succession. England has disputed succession. Really? Yeah. Just a low, um, a low legitimacy claim. A weak claim there. That's all. All right, our dude is home. Let's sell marches. Here you go. Marches. Enjoy it. Here you go, vassal. And he's coring it all. Look at that. Day one, he's like, well, I'll core it now. Cool. And England. Whoa, England's at tech 15 already? Are you kidding? Oh, I guess so am I. Our diplo tech is crap. Hmm, what's the next military we get? Um, charge infantry. Okay. Is this all my boats? I think it is. Group up. Get me the trade ships. You shall patrol London. Ah, reformed zealots. You know what? I don't care what religion you are. You want to go reform? That's fine. I'd prefer you didn't, but whatever they just want to change the religion of the of the nation okay let's rebuild our army oh wow we can actually get a decent leader we might want to do that now nah so we can have 29 units probably somewhere around 25 would be a good bet so let's get um 10 more dudes well, what do we have we have six one and two Whoa, oh, we can't afford anything. We're broke. Ah, oh, stop being broke, Shen. God. We're really only making six ducats from trade? Are you kidding me? We're getting seven ducats from Chesapeake Bay and 2.2 ducats from London. Ew. Really? Is that all? How are we only getting two ducats from London? Wow, London seems poor. Like, super poor. Ultra mega poor. Oh yeah, you want some more provinces, dude? There you go. Enjoy. Actually, you want to buy them for real money? There you go, 20 bucks. Thank you. Huh. And he's, con yeah, he look at that. he's coring it right away. It takes him no time at all to core this shit. Inflation or stability? Well, uh, how much is stability? I think we'll do the stability, and then we can bump that. And it's not that bad. Still, I hate wasting points. You know? Revolt in the bayou. Peasants. Uh, I can't really do anything about that. Oh, there's more peasants over here. I didn't even notice. Tyrone! I don't think he can buy the last one yet. He's overextended, right? Yeah, he's overextended. Alright. 
So we'll hold on to that for now, and this is going to cost us 154 to core. Ouch. Probably still worth doing, though, in the long run. Rather than relying on our vassal to core everything. Ow. Ow. Oh, Sweden's invading Holstein. What's this about? Uh, the Swedish conquest of Jalen. Oh, they want to they wanna form Scandinavia, don't they? But they need Jalen to do that. I think they also need Midjylland for that. Maybe they, maybe not. Maybe it's Finn. I don't know. They're trying to form Scandinavia. I can tell. Let's see. All our allies are super happy with us. They enjoyed that war quite a lot. Let's see. Netherlands is also in the coalition. So we're going to have to try to get everyone out of this. Yeah. Hmm. making four ducats a month. Alright, that's not bad. It's not great, but whatever. Oh, peasants. We're going to need an army over here. Maybe like 10k or something? Maybe that's where we should build our army. I don't know. Um, let's pick up these guys. And just go to the new world. Just have a party. Ew, pirates. Oh, they're probably affecting my fucking trade, aren't they? No? No, not really. No. Oh well. Whatever. Okay, dudes are building, very good. Trinidad Island. That's not an island. That's a sea tile. Trinidad Island. That's not an island. Every time I look at it, it's just water. Oh, England's colonizing down here in Colombia. Interesting. Huh. And Portugal took these colonies, but um, they're not putting down the English rebel for whatever reason. So they may not keep the colonies, even though they have they took them in the peace deal. Oh, well. Oh no! Castile's invading the Cherokee! No! Don't do it, Castile! Aw, oh, crap. Oh well. Why don't we end on that happy note tonight? Uh, I need to get to bed anyway. It's 12.30 in the morning. But this has been immensely fun. We wrecked England for a second time. I'm really happy with that. Uh, the first time, we made them give up uh, all of Scotland and four provinces down here, and the next time we had them give up another four provinces down here. So, I'm going to continue the exploitation of the English, and hopefully next time we can get them small enough to where the next time, after next time, we might be able to vassalize them. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.